All right, so today what we'd like to do is highlight the elevated unwinder with a dual shaft. And when we talk, when we talk about the dual shaft, what we're talking about is the ability to run two different rolls uh, with different outside diameters. Um, and the way this is possible is that we actually have a shaft that is split here. What that means is each individual half of the shaft is actually able to turn on its own, and each one has its own uh, ear chuck on it as well. So what we'll do is uh, these two rolls will work independently. If we zoom in real quick, we can kind of see that there's a uh, difference between the outer diameter of the left roll and the right roll. We have about roughly about an inch and a quarter difference between the two. This has always been problematic in the past because as the machine feeds off and we have the core charge, the distance from this roll to this roll back into the printer, there, there are different distances and the material will travel at a different rate. So we end up getting one roll being tight and one roll being loose. So with the, air, the split air shaft, what that allows us to do is be able to independently um, put tension on both of these rolls. Now the way this happens is on the back side here, we'll see that there is an ear core shaft right here. So basically both sides of the printer, or I should say both sides of the shaft, have the ability to add ear to that, and that tightens it on that individual chuck there and gives us a nice tight. So that way the rolls will not move uh, back and forth. And you'll see that we can loosen this one as well. And as soon as we start up the vacuum here, you'll see that both of these will independently tighten up. So again, if I take one of these, Show that again real quick. If I make this one loose, the elevated and the, the regular unwinders are all activated by the vacuum. So as soon as the vacuum turns on, the elevated unwinders and the split core, core shaft uh, both will, will activate. So you see that we have tension here. And basically, we have the ability to change the tension on both sides, uh, whether we're using a uh, roll that's going to the top, off the top, or underneath that switches here, as well as turning this on and off. The other thing that we could do is, uh, and we'll demonstrate later, is if we're no longer doing a two rolls up, we want to go to a single roll, we'll put a roll of three meter on here, we're just going to switch out the bar that has one single shaft, put it on here, and we'll feed it into the material. This is going to be for the uh, machine. All right, so if we go to the front side, what we'll show here is that we've already done about a half an hour worth of printing, and we wanted to highlight <coughs> the amount of deflection that we have on the rolled up finished rolls here. So if we look at these two here, we'll, Sean will zoom in real quick. You'll be able to see that we're getting a nice tight roll on both sides here and our tension is staying good here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some printing. So what we'll do now is we'll set this up. One of the first things that we're gonna do is once we put two rolls on is we will scan the media and the, the sensor on the carriage will scan where the rolls are. These rolls do not need to be in an exact spot. The carriage sensor will sense where each individual <coughs> roll is and it'll feed that information back to the software. And you'll see as soon as we turned on the vacuum, the tension uh, was enabled on the front roller as well. Front roller and the back roller are gonna uh, act exactly the same way. We'll go ahead and start the print here. One of the other keys here is running the two rolls up. You can actually put a different image on both rolls, so they do not have to be the same image, so you can actually queue up different images on the different rolls. As we print here, you see that both rolls are simultaneously uh, rolling up. Now on this side, uh, we do not need a split shaft because uh, we are starting with a fresh core on the front side, so that way we can uh, we don't need a split shaft because uh, both cores will be running at the same speed. And if we come out back, We'll see the, uh, the print is coming out now. 
So again, we'll see that there's even tension between both rolls. And that's the key here, that these rolls are able to be independent from one another as they're coming off. We're just going to let it run for a little while here. Five minutes ago, I put a piece of tape where the edge of my material was. And it's coming out now, so I just want to show the tracking. So when I started the roll, this tape was put on the edge of the material onto the belt. and it shows that we're keeping our tracking. Zoom in here a little bit to the uh, cores, see the difference. You can see here we're on the left core, we're almost out of material. It's getting to uh, the lower edge and we're still about half way through a roll on the right. over to the front and we'll take a look at the tracking you'll see we get a real nice tight weave there now we'll switch back to the back couple more wraps there. So what you'll see here is 
In the middle, I'll do a little talking while we... In the middle, we have a stanchion, uh, basically a kickstand. That is supporting two different rolls. So if we have a different weight on either side, uh, this will support it in the middle. There is a screw jack here. So basically, um, to, to level this off, we're just lifting this up and turning this so we get to nice and, get nice and level. Uh, once we go to the uh, single roll, this whole unit, the bar will come off, this whole kickstand will come off, and then we just put the, uh, the single bar on after that. And then that way it will be, be able to uh, run the single bar. The other thing that we can use here is uh, the standard table for the H3 um, will also fit into the uh, elevated winder here. So there's no need to remove the elevated winder when we're running sheets. Basically what we're going to do is just remove our bar and uh, run it that way, with, and then we'll have the access of the table as well. This elevated unwind system does use our slip clutch system, the new slip, slip clutch. So basically uh, we can add a different tension on both of these, and you see that even at the faster speeds there's a nice smooth transition of the material coming off the roll and there's no jerking of the material. That's all possible by the uh, slip clutch. So what you saw there was the print on the other side was completed. So <clears throat> the material rolled backwards to get to the very first print line. And we just actuated another uh, print and it'll continue to print. So this will simulate some starting and stopping. All right, as we see here, there is a, uh, we're at the end of the roll here, so it will pull off. And now you see this is exactly what the slip shaft, split shaft should be doing. This one is rolling independently. We can add a little tension on that, but this one is still running at normal speed, and this one's doing exactly what it should. I'm going to go ahead and stop the print. And now what we'll do is we'll switch out the dual shaft to a single shaft. Let's go ahead and we'll cut this off. So, so real quick, what I want to show here is that we're going to switch the, the, the shaft out here. So we're going to go ahead and shut off both sides. So that way our shaft is not turning. And we'll release the air pressure. And that simply lifts off. And now what we're going to do is remove the center kickstand. So let me just zoom in on that real quick. That comes off real easily. Put that down. And then we're going to go ahead and put the 3 meter bar on. Turn off our vacuum on our printer, and then we will go ahead and lift our back media roller here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a little extra. And feed it in the same way. Okay. Sounds 
centering this on our sheet here. And then I can simply come over and close my media roller. And I'm going to go ahead and charge my core, my ear core. I'm going to go ahead and advance this forward. And at this point, what I do is I only need to switch this to a, it's an under roll. Roll is coming off underneath. And then I just need to turn on one side. Um, they will work independently. All right, we'll come back here. Lift my back bar. And basically, I'm just going to... this out. Make sure that was nice and straight coming off the, the back roll. So we'll go ahead and scan our media. Now we are with the three meters, so we'll kind of zoom in over. Them. 